Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I want to teach you how to play this awesome Snoop Dogg song called Smoke Weed Every Day. Okay, so this is a super awesome meme song. Glad you came into this tutorial to check this out and learn it for yourself. Anyway, in today's lesson I want to give you um, uh, the main section of the song and also the intro section of the song which is pretty much the whole song because like intro and then like the rest is kind of like a loop. Okay, but anyway, give you a preview of what you're going to learn today. Check it out. Here's a preview. It goes like this. Okay. Here we go. The intro is pretty awesome as well, so let's go ahead and split it up into parts to learn it. Okay, so firstly, let's learn the intro first. The intro goes like this. Okay, right hand, it starts on the G flat, so middle C is here, starting on the G flat up here, just there. So it goes G flat, and then down to E flat twice, and then do it again for a second time, and then the third time. And then it goes, um, it goes F, G flat, F, G flat for four times. So, uh, second time, third, fourth, like that. So, it's quite a lot of rep rep repeated patterns in the start of the intro. So, remember the patterns. So, firstly, right hand one more time. So, it goes like this. So, it goes G flat, and then there's two E flats together. Play for three times. So, one, two, three, and then it goes F, G flat, F, G flat for four times. So, it goes one, two, That, so remember, okay? So with the rhythm goes like this. Like that, okay? So at the start, the G flat and E flat, the E flats is kind of off beat because the second E flat is where it's on the main beat, okay? So yeah, it goes like this, remember? It goes da, da, da. Okay, so that's the right hand for the whole intro. That's actually the whole intro. So remember those patterns and it's gonna be very easy for you to remember. Left hand, um, uh, we have, let me see. Okay, three main chords. So the three main chord changes are, check it out. The firstly is a E flat minor, which is E flat, G flat, B flat. Okay, this is an all black note chord, followed by B major, which is B, D sharp, F sharp. Then followed by E flat minor again, which you know, E flat, G flat, B flat. Alright, so with those three chords in mind, so E flat minor, followed by B major, then followed by E flat minor again, the two hands together would go like this. So it goes G flat and E flat minor together, so it's like, together. And then F and B major together. And then the third group, the first note, and it goes together with the E flat minor. Like that, okay, one more time, so it goes like this, so it goes like this, together. Da, 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 is where you play the note and the chord together, okay? But anyway, yeah, with that in mind, one last time so you kind of get what's happening. So it goes together. Like that, okay? So you can see my left hand bouncing. That's actually the main beat. So if you follow that, you can get the beats and rhythm correct for this intro. But anyway, yeah, after learning the intro, we go ahead and learn the awesome, um, the awesome. That part, okay? So anyway, really easy for the right hand. It's pretty much, um, let me see. Yeah, they're actually all black notes. So that's like a good thing. So dun, 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 Yeah, in fact, okay, check it out. Is there, any, is there only four notes uh, cycled in a particular way? So it's only E flat, G flat, A flat, B flat. So all, these four notes are the only four notes that you cycle around for this particular melodic uh, motif. Okay, it's like bam, 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 bam. Check it out. See, 
no black notes at all, okay? So make sure you remember to put your fingers on top of these keys. So for example, just use first finger on the E flat, third finger on the G flat, fourth on the A flat, and fifth on the B flat, and it will be a lot easier to like just press all the keys like this. Okay, but anyway, with that in mind, it goes like this. The motif for the right hand, it goes E flat up to B flat, and then B flat, A flat, B flat, and then A flat, G flat, A flat, and then A flat, G flat, E flat, G flat. And that's it for the motive. Pretty simple, right? And then you all you need to do is just repeat the motive over and over again. But anyway, let's do it one more time. So it goes like this. So it goes E flat up to the B flat, B flat, A flat, B flat, A flat, G flat, A flat, A flat, G flat, E flat, G flat. And then you just repeat it, okay? So I'll give you a kind of like, I'll give you some cues so you can remember this melody easily. So firstly, you, we already put the, uh, the fingers on top of these black notes already, right? So what you need to do, we do the lowest note of the uh, notes here and then the highest note there. And then there's a pattern, it goes B flat, A flat, B flat, right? And then it does the pattern again, but one note lower, A flat, G flat, A flat, like that. And then it does sort of again. And down to E flat, G flat, like that. So just break it up into parts and learn it like that. So firstly, remember, it's the lowest note to the highest note of the f um, four black notes. And then from that black note, the highest note, just the pattern goes down, up, thingy. So it goes B flat, A flat, B flat. And then repeat that same pattern with the A flat. So A flat, G flat, A flat as a down up pattern. And then it goes, uh, repeat the A flat, G flat, and down to E flat, G flat, like that. So pretty much, it's kind of like, you can kind of like um, make these specific cues to kind of like, um, I keep saying kind of like, I don't know, to actually let you learn the stuff a lot quicker. But anyway, yeah, with that in mind, that's the right hand. The left hand, uh, we have two main chords. Okay, but there's four elements here, okay? So the uh, the first chord is E flat minor, which is E flat, G flat, B flat, which you know. Okay, and then uh, the second, third, fourth chord are both, are all of them, are, how do you, it's not, not both. All of them, all the three chords, the last three chords are B flat major, which is B flat, D, F, okay? So the two, three, like that, okay? So with that in mind, so E flat minor, you hold it for a bit, and then it goes B flat major three times. Okay, the B flat major is fast as well because it matches to the last three notes of the melody. But anyway, one more time, so E flat minor followed by B flat major three times, like that, okay? So two hands together for this awesome main theme goes like this, so it goes E flat and E flat minor together. And then G flat and B flat major together. E flat and B flat major together. G flat and B flat major together. Like that, you just loop it, okay? So it's pretty easy, you know the end, Last three notes on the right hand is pretty much with the chords on the left hand as well. So it's like dun, 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 so that you kind of remember that part as well. But anyway, one more time, so it goes like this. Repeat. Like that, so kind of give it a bounce as well for the melody to keep that kind of similar feel, okay? But anyway, yeah, so what you can do, it, like in my cover, I actually added this extra thing where like um, at the start it's like dun 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 Like that, it's also in the original as well, it's like da 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 that part, okay? What you can do, so doing E flat, E flat, F, G flat, and then another G flat plus the high B flat. Okay, so basically the first two notes originally I taught you, the E flat and B flat, within those two notes, we're adding another E flat, F and G flat, and on the last note on the B flat, we also press the, another G flat together, like that, check it out, so it goes E flat, E flat, F, G flat, and then together like that. So that's just an extra addition that you can do like this. pretty awesome so have fun with this song so you can kind of add a little bit more bass in the start so for example the, uh, uh, the intro you can just do like like that and then you can do an octave bass for the B as well Okay, so you can add octaves and then just do the chords and just here and there. So it's like like that. You can 
add the E flat minor once in a while within that E flat minor hold because originally it's supposed to be holding the whole way through, which is kind of boring, right? For uh, for some of the people who want to make it like more uh, jumpy. But anyway, have a lot of fun with this. So remember to learn the chord and melody first. Everything is formed like that. Even for all of my covers, they form from the easy melody and chords and just improvisations right on the spot. But anyway, as for now. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Enjoy all my other meme piano cover and tutorials that I have on my channel. I have a playlist made just for meme piano covers and tutorials. But anyway, check it out and enjoy your time on my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel, subscribe and see you next time.